Hey, StarCrafters Wookie here. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. It's a ZBZ, and this is a fan game. Thank you, Kitten. We've seen you on the channel before, and I appreciate the enthusiasm with which you send me your games. If you'd like to send one to me, it's wookiestarcraft at gmail.com. Just attach it and talk about it. Or tell me in the email what you want to talk about, if anything. Uh, I may or may not get it on there, but uh, here's another one from Kitten. Kitten has been playing Zerg as a low-level player. I believe he said bronze. Uh, could be silver, and uh, gonna go with he. Not sure. So uh, if you want to correct me, Kitten, you can. Of course, if you don't, I, you know, I totally uh, respect and uh, your your desire to stay anonymous there. And what do we have? I'm looking at the production tab. Opponent the sickness going with a very early pool at nine supply. Now I just saw Kitten pop out an overlord at like seven. And then go into a nine pool. <laughs> and the sickness was like on a seven pool. So So okay, you're kitten, you're like, I'm gonna get an early spawning pool. I'm gonna build an early overlord. So I have some supply room to just crank out those Zerglings when my spawning pool finishes. I'm going to go fast lings, and I'm going to get a lot of pressure on early and try to take an advantage. And a Sickness did a 7 pool. So his spawning pool is already up, and here are 6 lings on the way. And they are already rallied to the base. And the spawning pool here hasn't even finished yet. Oh, poor kitten. Poor kitten. Of course, kitten sent in this game, so... Uh, I'll give you three guesses as to who wins. Uh, and, you know, there's only two players in the game, so choose carefully. Going straight to a Roach Warren after pool. Uh, well, I shouldn't say straight to six lings and then Roach Warren for Kitten. Zerglings, of course, on the way from Dust Sickness, but doesn't even have a geyser yet. All right, there's capturing the geyser, but it's going to need gas before it can make any roaches. And here comes Kitten <laughs> pushing out with his early lings, and he's like, ah, oh, crap. Ah, uh, crap. Doesn't even have a queen yet. And then there's the Ling Slap fight. This is like when two opposing cheerleading squads duke it out. It's a lot of hair pulling, a lot of slapping, and uh, whatever Kitten did there, it worked, because he comes out with the uh, three Lings, and uh, Sickness retreats with his uh, with his reinforcement Lings there. Got some overlords just giving each other the bro nod and going about their business. A scouting drone coming home. And you got to be careful with these links, Kitten. He's going to have reinforcements already. Why do I hear a queen? What are you doing? Oh, no. Sacrificial Overlord going in for a scout. That's kind of early for a Sacrificial Overlord. And you're very close to the black cap. I don't see any overlords in production. I'm just going to die. Oh, no. That was... It was actually pretty horrible at this stage of the game, because now Supply Capped, got to make another Overlord. Didn't have one in production, so... Really don't want to lose those early. Would have been better, I think, to scoot it in this way and try to get a poke. Or just run by with the Lings. We had a little Ling excursion or encounter going on up here. Probably could have just kited those things around and got a look. I don't feel like that was necessary, Kitten. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, two spine crawlers on defense, that costs two drones. Let's look at, okay, hold on, which one of these? That one? Yes, got it right. Uh, we've got 11 workers for Kitten and 21 for Dust Sickness. So here's, here's two workers that could be contributing but aren't. Um, of course, I mean, the threat of a, a Ling repush uh, is imminent. So a spine crawler not a horrible idea, but two probably a touch of overkill. And double Evo chamber going down. Finally got some drones in gas. And is he, but he doesn't have that over, or that movement upgrade yet. Has the resources for it, but hasn't researched it yet. So this gas is completely extraneous, unless he's going to start building roaches. Okay, there's a couple of roaches coming in. And double Evo chamber. So we'll look for some upgrades. Here we got a sacrificial overlord and the queen 
giving it hell. So here's a little tit for tat, I guess. As far as the sacrificial overlords go. Yeah, that one's going to completely go. But see, this one actually saw useful information like Roach Warren and Double Evo Chambers, which I notice that uh, the sickness is now getting going for himself. So he does not want to fall too far behind in the upgrade count. So so he uh, responds in kind. And it doesn't look like Kitten has actually used these yet. You don't really need a double Evo chamber if you're not going to use them. Has pulled drones off of gas. Has not chosen to get the upgrade yet. Has the gas for it. So no metabolic boost yet. Okay, now we've got Carapace going. Now he's out of gas and can't make any roaches. Not sure. Uh, I know you watch the channel, Kitten, so hit us up in the comments and let us know what you were thinking here. Okay, there's some drones back to gas. So I'm going to say has an extra geyser here. Probably could have just kept three drones on that one geyser and uh, been doing all the same stuff but had more minerals. We see, uh, ooh, I heard, just heard, okay, Zergling died. We see the sickness is getting his double upgrades, uh, is you know, utilizing that double Evo chamber, and I think it's because he's got a drone lead. Okay, it, it's evening out. Army is uh, superior, drone count has evened out, but perhaps slightly better economic management there in the beginning by the sickness. Uh, so both of these players, they did their, uh, they did their seven pools and eight pools, and kind of slap fought each other for a while. And now it looks like they are settling into a macro. So I just bumped it up to plus two, just so we don't have to uh, watch it. You know, I don't, I don't want this video to go on f for 40 minutes or whatever it's going to be. If I don't have to, because I know you guys got lots of StarCraft videos to watch. I appreciate you stopping by my channel. I don't want to make you stay longer. If there's just this low-level macro going on, which is what it looks like. We've got Galil Reconstitution coming, so the Sickness doing a good job of massing up his, uh, getting his upgrades for his roaches. He's already on level 2s from his Evo Chambers. We can see uh, Kitten is still on level ones, we're gonna do a little little tower trade there. We got creep spread for the sickness. I like this. He's pushed out with the creep. The kitten has not. I don't even see a creep tumor yet. High energy queen is missing some injects. Oh, there was a little tower tug of war that just happened there, and an expansion coming down for kitten. Not so much for the sickness. He is gonna one base it for now and then the uh, tower tug of war continues looks like we've got an overlord here which I don't think sees that yet no nope, doesn't see this yet but we will keep an eye on when he decides to go in there and take a look handful of roaches poking up into a lot of roaches and lings you don't want anything to do with that stay away stay away alright just hold that tower let's look at the army supply is in favor of our hero kitten and but the no no the worker supply is in favor of kitten but the army supply is is severely lacking for kitten he is a full 30 supply not food 30 supply low on his army let's look at the units tab and see exactly what it is it's uh, it's about 14 roaches and a couple of zerglings so he needs to be careful here, and that's the difference of getting a hatchery instead of making units. We see hatchery just now going down for the sickness. And Kitten is going to push into this, and I don't think that's a good idea. That's a lot of roaches, and you get those out of there. One, one, and one, two. Kitten, Kitten. Oh, the oh, Kitten. Oh. Youch. Looking at the units lost tab, we see that Kitten just got his ass royally handed to him and is putting ice on it. That hurt. Now, the sickness here can just 
push and win, I think. He's got a 50, almost a 50 army, or 50 supply lead. 70 to 18 in the army. They're, looks like they're both making spires. Kitten decides he's going to expand. That's cool. I've got no army. And I'm going to expand now. If the sickness saw that, if he was watching, he just saw that Kitten has about eight roaches. Okay, it's nine. And so he should be going right now. He should just draw a box around these, hit A, and then click any spot over here in the main somewhere and could probably win the game. I'm guessing. And I'm probably going to want to put my cell phone busy. There we go. But that is not happening. And we see a uh, kitten going for his level 2 upgrade. So the sickness here is being very passive, opting not to attack. And I really think he should have. Yeah, yeah, with a 49 su army supply lead. Um. Alright, kitten, I just want you to keep in mind that if this guy decided to attack you, you probably would have died and lost this game. Macro hatch, good idea. Uh, full energy queen, bad idea. Need to be hitting those larva injects. What's he doing for? All right, ten. He's got ten units on this control group, and that's it. So, kitten, something you can think about is putting your hatches on a control group, all of them. Remember, you can use shift to add something to a control group. So, your main hatch. First thing I do, control four. And then when I put down another hatch, just select it and shift 4, and now both hatches are in control group 4. You can do the same thing with your units. Just box them up and shift 1, and all these are suddenly in control group 1. Put the queen on 5. Uh, well, I would use 5 for this queen on my main hatch, and then on my second hatch, I call it my B hatch. I would put that queen on 6. If I had a queen out here, it would be on 7, and then you can just double tap those and get your injects going pretty quickly. There's some Muta Harass that gets quickly repelled by counter mutas and a queen. So both players, it looks like, have chosen the same uh, path for their units. We got 20 more drones for kittens, so that is good. I like that. Uh, he gave up on Zerglings, and looks like the sickness is still hanging on to 17 of his. Uh, some Hydras coming into mix for. Uh, for our friend Kitten, I just saw this thing move. All right, he was just spotting that. And a fourth hatchery going down. Kitten not being shy at all about expanding. I really like that. Uh, Kitten is just about mined out in the main. Transferred the drones off. There they go. So uh, the expansion taking very good. Army supply still looks a little low. 102 to 72. That is a significant disadvantage. I really don't know what the sickness is waiting for probably to get to 200 food uh, supply that seems to be the thing to do <clears throat> I know I feel much more comfortable when I get it way up there so now we've got some uh, muta harass coming from the sickness queen and mutas to, uh, to hold it out and kitten really needs to get his army over here he had plenty to deal with that, but gave away a bunch of mutas there. Let's let's what's the control group situation we're getting? Everything that was on control group one has died. So he had had to move over here, box, move over here, click. <coughs> excuse me, or maybe use the mini map. Taking another hatchery though. What a baller. <laughs> you you rock kitten. Has completely balanced the food count out or the supply count well. Some twenty something just spawned for uh for the sickness to take the lead, but this gap is closing fast. Most of it is workers, so uh, Kitten is going to be at an army disadvantage, but a macro advantage. When his army dies, he will be able to reproduce it very quickly. You can see his money is really starting to creep up, even though he's laying down all these hatcheries. So it's probably a larva issue for him now. You need Okay, got some extra queens, got a macro hatch, good, there's a queen here, alright, I would really like to see them on control groups to help with the injects, because remember, larva is a resource. No creep spread either from uh, from kitten. So there's something you can think about, kitten, maybe some creep spread, I know uh, 
Some high level players will even hotkey their active creep tumors. Uh, I know my army is primarily one and two, my hatcheries are four, I do queens five through like nine or eight, and uh, tech buildings like my, my Avo chambers on nine and ten, and hold that thought. Here's some mutas. Oh, push that off, but look, oh my goodness, here comes the whole army. Uh, this Roach Hydra army from Kitten is trapped out of position up against the wall and just getting decimated. Ouch, ouch, and ouch. Please make it stop. Go away. Thank you. And now they're going to come back for some more. Kitten has to be... Well, it's not as bad as I thought it was. 102 to 138. So his mutas did not get involved there, and that's a pretty good uh, chunk of his army supply. So he is going to go do a little... A little, oh yeah? Oh yeah? Well, look what I can do. And then he's going to change his mind. But what was I talking about? Oh yeah, creep tumors on uh, on control groups. Now, I don't do this. Is that a changeling? That is a changeling. How about that? Um, it's not something I do, just because I don't think it's as important. But if you've got a free hotkey, and mine would be three, just put your active uh, creep tumor on three so you can get to it real fast. You know, drop a new creep tumor, select it, and control three to reassign, and that way you've always got quick access to your active creep tumor, or two or three. A lot of players like to to clump up two or three and spread them that way. And that's if you've got super high APMs, which, you know, trying to add that kind of thing into a 50 APM type game, it'd be beyond my ability, and so, you know, I can't, uh, I can't imagine it would be something to prioritize in the low leagues, but still something fun to think about. Now you want to be careful, son, because there's a lot of Hydras in there, and uh, Broodlords, did I have that tab closed for a long time? Nothing in production for either player because they are so close to the cap, it's hard to squeeze anything in there. So we've got Broodlords now for the Sickness, a lot of good army mix here, I mean I like the fact that he's got a lot of different unit types in there, and the Mutal is kind of just buzzing around, and the uh, the armies have evened out. I mean, the the supply count anyway is so evened out because sickness waited so long. I think he was trying to get himself an unstoppable army, but what he has done is let kitten get five bases. One, two, three. Yeah, he's got five bases. So even though the armies are maxed out and uh, Sicknesses is going to be bigger and more powerful, and it looks like he's going to win this engagement because he's got the Broodlords. I don't know, that's a lot of Mutas, though. Those Hydras are going to, it's going to take him a long time to get through that, and those Broodlords are going to be done for. A few Corruptors coming in, and uh, the Mutas pull out. I'm not sure why. Probably should have just killed this Broodlord. Kill that Broodlord. It's doing sick damage. There you go. Now a bunch of roaches. Oh, take out that hatchery in no time. And me with my 7 FPS. Kicking ass and taking names on the frames per second there. I should probably turn my graphic settings down, but I don't want to do that mid-game. So now we've got one roach left from that push, left in the main. And Kitten will surely clean that up. Here it comes. There you go. There you go. There. Oh, the dead. Ro okay. Roach is dead. Roach is dead. Camera's jumping around. Got to do a drone transfer here. We've got a lot of drones on one patch. But you know, that's housekeeping. And housekeeping isn't something you really prioritize when there's like 28 roaches in your base. How many roaches are there? Yeah, there's 27. That was a pretty good guess. Tons of expansions going on for Kitten. This is this is awesome to see. I really like the fact that he kept expanding. We finally got a third coming down for Sickness, but it is way out here in the corner. Only has three drones in it, so not going to come into play for a while. Here comes a little bit of a transfer. He is yeah, doing okay at his natural, completely mined out in the main. Production tab uh, shows some, looks like some army production coming out of Kitten, but not Sickness. And he's down at 131 supply, so 
now all of a sudden Kitten is in the lead and he's in here sniping out these Hydras. I think he can take them all too. And once he does, it's going to cost him some Mutas, but once these Hydras are done, what's uh, what, the, what are these Roaches going to do? Yeah. Quick reaction time there from the sickness. And uh, a few more Hydras, so Kitten's going to pull his Mutas back, try to save him for later. And come out. The only... Okay, a couple things I see from Kitten. Uh, high energy on the Queens, work on the Larva Injects, control groups. And uh, and creep spread. I don't know if if the lack of creep spread is from uh, like on purpose. I'm not a changeling. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Uh, I don't know. So I don't know if the lack of creep spread is on purpose because it's a CBC, and you went muta heavy. So maybe you felt like you didn't need the creep so much. Um, but for the vision. It's invaluable. Now the the vision is getting better on the map for Kitten just because there's so many hatcheries out there you can kind of tell what's going on. And taking the gold, nice. But uh, a little more creep spread for some vision I think would be good. And just hitting those injects I think you're, you know, the money's getting high and I know it's late and you got a lot of bases and the you know, armies have been maxed out so it's, this isn't a real, a real good uh, situation to point at the money and, and wag the finger and say it's too high but uh, some more some more larva means more units and a faster army um, and I don't mean an army that moves more quickly I mean an army that that arrives faster so this uh, muta harass can that harass could have killed all these roaches so it looks like the sickness is just gonna box them up and run them into the base because otherwise they're just gonna die doing nothing. They might as well die attacking. And uh, that's a lot of DPS right there. Don't think the roaches are gonna make it. And with the arrival of the extra mutalisks, uh, so all of a sudden, army supply for the sickness is at 14. That's pretty low, so a complete turnaround. The sickness leaves the game. Good game, kitten. Uh, you know, except for that, like, six or eight minutes there, around the, what was it, 12, maybe 14, 16 minute mark, where you could have just lost the game if the sickness tried to, you know, if he even attacked at all. I think you would have lost the game, but he didn't. And you were able to expand everywhere and, uh, get that maxed army out, get a nice composition, and, uh, and win the game. So not bad there. Excellent muta use. Much better than the sicknesses. Uh, you know, was able to fly around, harass, see a little bit of the map, and uh, and ultimately take that game down. So good job, kitten. And uh, good luck. Have fun on your ladder games, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed taking a look at the way kitten's been playing recently. I have not been on the ladder much recently. Uh, I've had some other things that I had to do. I had some artwork I owed a gentleman, so I got that done finally. And I've had some other things going on here at home, so I have not had... I've, I've, I probably could have found the time to get on the ladder. I just didn't have the gumption, didn't have the energy, didn't want to half-ass it, so I opted not to do it. But I am looking forward to Labor Day weekend and getting some rest and getting some ladder games in. So hopefully you'll see some games from me and uh, I will get them up on the on the channel and that is of course one of my favorite subjects uh, me so looking forward to that and that'll be fun and uh, good luck have fun in your ladder games and uh, Wookie out